Hello, it is Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas in France. They typically celebrate on Christmas Eve, not Christmas Day. Say hi to the vlog. Okay, never mind. Um, so we are celebrating Christmas today. I'm at Joseph's mom's house, his childhood home. And I don't really know what we're doing. I think we're just gonna have like a big family gathering today. Open presents, yada yada yada. Um, yeah, I don't know. What's the plan for today, Joseph? Ah, I, 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 I. Family. We, we cook. We eat. We open presents. We go to bed. Yeah, I'm wearing my beef eater Christmas sweater that I wore in my last video. Um, and Joseph has a very special Christmas sweater that we will show you later. Christmas jumper, as they say in the UK. Should I share the news? About what? The news. Are you still having no, I'm made a video about it? No. Ta-da! I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm actually... Today is my... So today marks 23 weeks. So I'm over halfway now. I can talk about it more in like another video if you guys are interested, but... Um, yeah, it's been an interesting 23 weeks. The baby moves a lot now. She's kicking all the time. Oh, it's a girl. Um, and yeah, she moves all the time. She's very active. And yeah, I don't want to really like focus too much on the pregnancy for this video because I might make another video about it, but it's exciting. Right? Oh, yes. Very ex <laughs> yeah, like you used to tell me in advance when I'm, in, when I'm, when I'm, I'm a, on video. This is the Christmas jumper. Do you want to show it, Joseph? I thought we were done for the day. Classy. Very classy. Yeah. Everyone rea reacts very positively to this. <laughs> well, when we went to this fancy restaurant, yeah, people... Yeah, before, they liked it before they saw the pissing. Yeah. Anyway, we're having a quick breakfast before the festivities commence. I think... I want, I want to go to the grocery store because... I need vegan versions of everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we need to stock up. Because it's the 24th today and then tomorrow everything will be closed, so. Okay, so we were totally wrong about the plan. So we're not having Christmas stuff today. We're doing it tomorrow because um, it's just more, it's better for the family tomorrow, apparently. But it's like for the kids, yes. Yeah. yeah, for the kids. We went grocery shopping. We bought a bunch of stuff for me mostly because I needed to find like vegan stuff. So we're just taking a walk around Paris. I just tried to practice mon français and I asked est-ce que je peux utiliser vos toilettes as in can I use your bathroom because I needed to pee and the guy responded in English as always so we were just talking about that and okay. my American accent I asked to be very fine of it but you asked uh, like where we are is very touristy so, yeah. I'm sure that half of the uh, customers that they receive are not French. Yeah. So this is, this, is, this, this, is, this is just normal for them. We're walking, we, we walked to the Parc de Luxembourg, but it was closed. So we're walking to the Seine now. Oh, yes. Give me more. Give me more. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm back home. I'm feeling a bit peckish. So, I think I'm gonna try this guy. It says Sable Cereal Chocolat. It's like some sort of chocolate biscuit. I also bought these biscuits. I'm not really sure what they are. It says Sable Authentique Epat 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 Spelt maybe? I think it means spelt. Um, yeah, so we have those. And then I also bought another, let me just put this down. I have a third box of biscuits. This one is Tentacion, Tentation, um, or Tantacion. Um, some sort of like chocolate and orange biscuits. Vegan. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna try these ones. Not bad. They taste like those like Belvita biscuits. Good morning and Merry Christmas. It's the 25th now and I just went for a run. I did like 5K um, around Jardin de Luxembourg because it was open this time. One thing about this pregnancy is that I've been having a lot of bladder pressure issues especially when I run like I immediately have to pee and I used to like sometimes I, I'm able to run like 30 minutes without needing to pee but sometimes it's a bit shorter and it's just unpredictable and annoying like today on my run I had to pee like 10-15 minutes into my run which is very frustrating and it doesn't like it adds like a certain amount of stress to running so I don't really know how much longer I'm gonna be able to run because I don't know it's not it's becoming less and less sustainable so I might have to switch to like swimming or something um which is sad because running gives me so much pleasure and it's like you know it's part of me so it's kind of sad but anyway so I think in a few hours, Joseph's family is going to come over. It's going to be his brother, two nieces, his sister, grandmother, brother's wife. We're out running errands. Pretty much everything is closed. But we managed to get what we needed. Yeah, beers. <laughs> well, it's I, they have left 0%, so I wanted to try it. Um, and we bought flowers for mom. They're very nice. And then we bought some bread, fresh bread, ice cream, <laughs> random things. It has been a few days since I last recorded anything. Um, it is the 28th today, and I think the last time I recorded anything was on Christmas Day. I haven't been doing the best job of vlogging, but I didn't want to record or like be, you know, filming too much while I was with family. Um, Joseph's niece, Emma, stayed over on, after Christmas, so I was like playing with her a lot. But yeah, other than family time, yesterday and today we worked um, from home and then tomorrow we're also working and then it's New Year's and we're going to um, Joseph's friend's house in the countryside of France for just one night just for New Year's Eve um, So I'm looking forward to that And tonight we are going to a vegetarian restaurant that has many vegan options. It's called Maslow and I'm super excited to go. I've been wanting to go for a while and this is like our first night out in Paris since we've been here. So I'm excited for that. I will see you guys at the restaurant.
So the menu at Maslow is more of a tapa style menu and um, it's just filled with a bunch of small plates that are meant for sharing. So we did get a few plates and we started off with um, this sesame latte that was really good. I'll talk about it more a bit later. Um, but yeah, it was probably one of the best lattes of my life, to be honest. And then to share, we got the not boring salad. We got curry leeks. We got crispy sweet potato fries. We got spicy carrots. We also got a portobello katsu. The not boring salad was really good. I really enjoyed it. It was crispy, crunchy, had a lot of nice flavors and textures. It was very satisfying as far as salads go. The roasted carrots were really, really good as well. It came with the spicy sauce that we both really enjoyed. And then one of my favorites were these uh, crispy sweet potato fries. Seems basic, but they were kind of like latkes slash hash browns. And it was just like really good. A lot of nostalgic flavors and textures. Um, I really enjoyed this and the mayo it came with was also top-notch And then the portobello katsu it was essentially just fried portobello mushrooms but the katsu fry like the batter itself was really good. It tasted like a legit katsu batter to me, so I did enjoy this one as well. And then last up we had these leeks. This one was the least like impressive or like wow to me. Not bad at all in terms of flavor, but wasn't like a standout. And then we had to finish with dessert. I got this chocolate dessert, which was like a chocolate mousse with caramel and salty bits and brownie bits. And Joseph got the mil fez, which is essentially like a cross between a baklava and a mil foy. I love chocolate, so anything chocolate I'm gonna enjoy, but I really liked the, the mix between the smooth mousse and the crispy brownie bits, and then it was like salty and sweet. It was just all around great. So we're back home. I just wanted to do a quick like wrap up of the experience. Um, basically, everything was really good. Nothing we got was like, eh, like that was okay, or that could have been better. Like honestly, it was all really good, but the two standouts for me, were kind of a surprise. One was the sesame latte, which I kind of got just like randomly on a whim, not really thinking too much about it, but that was so good and I really want to make it at home. I think it's made with like sesame paste, so I'm thinking maybe I could just like use tahini. I don't know. I'm going to like look up some recipes on the internet and see what's out there and how I can make it myself because it was really good. And then the dessert was also really, really good. Like it was salty, sweet, crunchy, smooth. Like it had all the right balanced balances. And yeah, it was just really good. And Joseph also really enjoyed his dessert. He, it was like also his highlight, the highlight of his meal. It was really good. I'm really happy with it. I just feel like, I don't know, restaurants in France, like there's not that many vegan restaurants, but they are pretty freaking good. The ones that do exist. And one thing that I've noticed about just like being outside of the UK is dining out in France and in other countries like the US, when you say you're allergic to things, the response is so different. Like if you say, if I, if I, when I'm in the UK and I say, oh, I'm allergic to nuts, or they always ask like, do you have any allergies? And I say, I'm allergic to nuts. They always kind of like freak out and like, Sometimes they get the manager involved, they have a whole booklet of allergens that they have to show you and they have to like check with their, you know, superior. Um, and it's like this whole ordeal every time, every single time I say I have an allergy, it's like, it's not, you know, a simple 
back and forth. It's like, okay, we got to like get the big guys out. We got to do all these things. They have all these protocols, which in a sense I'm grateful for because like they take it really seriously. And I think there's like really strict laws in the UK that provokes this kind of behavior. But um, yeah, it's just really interesting because in France, like today at the meal, I mentioned, you know, I, oh, can you like remove the nuts from this dish because I'm allergic and then they were like oh yeah we'll just check like whatever and they were like so nonchalant about it and it's if I mentioned like if I if I was if this was in the UK and I was like oh can you take this off because I'm allergic they'd be like oh oh you have an allergy oh what are you allergic to like how serious is it like you know they would have all these follow-up questions so it's just interesting how the reaction is very different depending on where you are that's my little recap of the evening. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's a few days later. Um, yesterday we just worked and then we went to Joseph's cousin's place and had dinner with him and his wife. And that was really nice. Um, and then today it's Saturday. We're going to go for a run now. I'm doing 10K. Joseph's doing 23K. I don't know if we mentioned this or if I mentioned this, but Joseph is um, training for the London Marathon, which is in April, and it happens to be the exact same day as my due date. Um, so hopefully the baby doesn't come on the due date. But um, I just had some a little bit of breakfast. I just had like so soja, soy yogurt, and granola. Yeah, we're gonna head out soon, do a little run, and then I think this afternoon we're gonna go and explore Paris a bit, go to my favorite donut restaurant, or not restaurant, donut place, cafe, um, and then, yeah, maybe shop a bit, but that is the plan. Finally sunny in Paris! <laughs> Yay! Um, my bladder issues are starting to pick up, but... I'm trying to ignore it because there's not a lot of public bathrooms in Paris. But yeah. No, you just be on the sand, that's why. Yeah, sure. It's perfectly fine. Air, air, air Everyone does it. So I did my run and then after that I went for a quick little supermarket run um, and I bought a few things so I wanted to show what I bought. So I went to Monoprix which is like one of the bigger supermarket chains in France and they had a bunch of vegan meats so I wanted to try them and I wanted to try brands that I've never heard of before and I've never tried obviously. So I got this planted... Um, I don't know, some sort of like barbecue flavored vegan meat made with oats, peas, oats, and tournesol. I don't know what tournesol is. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, I got this. They look like little chicken pieces. And then I bought this from the brand Ac Acro. Um, and this I think is also made from similar ingredients. Yeah. Pea protein, wheat, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, but this one looks a bit more plain. Um, so, yeah, I got those two things. And then I found this, like, vegan spread. It looks a lot like, I don't know, like a cream cheese type of spread or what is that brand that they have in the UK? There's, like, certain brands that are just like this in the UK. Um, and this is made with almond milk, so I wanted to try that. And then I found these gelatin-free Haribos. I am a sucker for sweet, like, um, sour gummies and stuff like that. So this is Miami, I don't know what that means, but it says peak. I, I have a feeling peak means sour. And then just some peas, because... So, because it's always good to have canned beans. And then, bananas. 
boring. Um, and then I bought a baguette. A baguette from a bakery. One thing about coming to France is I'm always like very scared to do things by myself, like going to the grocery store, or going to a cafe, or like just going out in general by myself without Joseph is like super intimidating because I have to speak French and I have to put myself out there and be vulnerable and it's really scary. Um, but yeah, like this time at the supermarket, I did self checkout to avoid human contact, but I forgot to weigh my bananas. So then when it got to the part where I was trying to scan the bananas, I there was like a there was like a um, it was a touch screen and you could choose like if you're buying fruit. So I was searching for banana, but banana was not one of the options. So I had to call the lady over and be like, um, est-ce que je peux payer pour le banane kind of thing. And um, I don't even know if that's correct, but I just asked like, can I pay for the bananas? And then she was like, oh, like in French, she was like, oh, you have to, you know, scan it over there. It's not here. And so I was like, oh, okay, okay. And so I had to like leave, scan the bananas, come back. And it was like this horrible deal and I was like sweating. And I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Like it's really not, it's, it's fine. But I still get like very self-conscious and flustered and just like intimidated. And so yeah, anyone learning a second language or living in a foreign country that is not your native language, I feel your pain. It is not easy. Okay, so I made the chicken the plain chicken, this product. And it turned out like this, it looks pretty good. Little chicken bits, it cooked really, really fast. And yeah, I mixed it with some leftovers and some like soy sauce and stuff. It looks very good. Okay, I'm gonna try the chicken. Mmm, it's good. Does it taste like chicken? It kind of tastes like this isn't chicken, but a softer texture. Mm. I like it a lot. Okay. It's good. It doesn't have a ton of flavor, but that's expected. Are you saying that you, yeah, you prefer this season's brand? No, I, I like it unseasoned because then you can like do whatever you want with it. It's good. I, I would buy this again. It was really good. Acro brand. How much was it? Three euros or something. Okay, so that's price reasonably. I mean, it's priced like most vegan yeah. products. I'm trying the tartar vegetal. It's very soft. It's like almost whip-like. It's very garlicky. It tastes like... um. Garlic cream, no? Yeah, garlic cream. Because that, that's, that's what it's supposed to be. It's garlic. good. Garlic cream cheese. It's good. Do you want to try yes. it? Sure. <laughs> Being held against your will. Okay, how, what do you think? It's good. You like it? <laughs> Okay, so we are heading out now to my favorite donut place that I mentioned, Bone Shaker Donuts. I haven't been there, I think, in like, has it been like two years now? I think it's been like two years. Uh, yes, I think so. Even maybe two and a half. Like, it's been a long, no, no, a year and a half, a year and a half. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited. I'm tired. And Joseph is tired from his half marathon. <laughs> It's donut time! So we bought, I think this is the cream cookie and I don't remember what it's called, like something like cookies and cream. And it has a nice little snowflake. And then this one is the mince pie. 
Yay! I wanted to get like winter themed ones, so that's why we bought these. They're so cute. Oh, I loved both of these donuts. The cream one was amazing. I loved the filling and it's great for chocolate lovers. The mince pie one was also really nice and cinnamony and I loved the little raisin bits inside. But I really think what makes Bone Shaker great is the dough. Every time I have a donut from there, the dough is just so pillowy and chewy and soft in all the right ways. And yeah, the filling is great, but I really think the dough is what sets it apart. So another win from Bone Shaker. It is December 31st, the final day of the year, and we are still in Paris, but we're heading out soon to go to Joseph's friend's house in the countryside, like north west of here or north of here i'm not really sure exactly we're just gonna spend one night there and um welcome in 2024 but today is also the day that i'm now 24 weeks pregnant which means that the baby if it's born now it has a pretty significant chance of survival so yeah in the uk they call it like the viability date or the viable date. So yeah, it's like a pretty significant milestone in pregnancy. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. And the baby was like nonstop moving for the past 20, not 24 hours, like 12 hours since like last night to 1 p.m. today. The baby was like kicking me all the time. Here's what the bump is looking like. It's not really easy to see from this dress, but it's definitely growing. But yeah. I forgot to mention, so this dress is uh, one of the things I bought yesterday. It's from Maj. It was my first time going to like their physical store. I think I've only like seen their stuff online, so it was a very nice store. And then I bought these boots from Bricolage? No. Brocage? What's the shoe store called, Joseph? Uh -huh. The shoe store? Bocage. Bo Bocage, Bocage. They're just like combat boots. I liked this dress because it's not too form-fitting because I, I don't know, I'm still like very self-conscious about my bump and I don't know, I feel weird when it's like super tight. That's the fit. This is the New Year's Eve fit. The pregnant New Year's Eve fit. I think I'm just gonna say goodbye to the vlog now because it's a clean slate, end of the year, you know, 2023 comes to a close, it's good. Thank you guys for watching the vlog and I hope you enjoyed it. Paris has been great and yeah, let's see how a sober New Year's Eve is. I don't think I've done a sober New Year's Eve in a long time. <laughs> so yeah, that should be interesting. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions about like my pregnancy or I don't know if you guys want me to talk about it. Yeah, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.